Folklore and myth are rife with fantastical creatures to tantalize the imagination. But hold up, Sonny Jim. Some real-world animals can actually be a hundred times weirder than anything that the human imagination can fabricate. Yeah, really, we mean it. These are 20 crazy creatures that really existed. Number 20, Frill-Necked Lizard. The frilled lizard is a unique type of lizard belonging to the Amigadae family. You might also hear it called the frill neck lizard or frill necked lizard. This creature is native to northern Australia and southern New Guinea, and it's the sole species in its genus, Chlamydiosaurus. It's easily recognizable thanks to the large frill around its neck, which usually stays folded against its body. In terms of size, it can reach up to 35 inches from head to tail and weigh around 1.3 pounds. Generally, males are larger and stronger than females. The lizard's body color varies, ranging from gray and brown to orange, brown and black, while its frills can be white, red, orange, or yellow. The frilled lizard is primarily an arboreal creature. This means it lives in trees and spends most of its time up there. It feeds on insects and other small animals. This lizard is more active during rainy periods, often venturing closer to or on the ground. To either attract a mate or deter predators, this lizard has a cool trick. It unfurls its neck frill dramatically, but it's just for a show, it isn't a danger to humans. Ooh, you guys remember that scene from Jurassic Park when a scary dinosaur pops up its frill and then eats a guy? Well, I heard the only way to avoid this happening to you is to smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. You better hurry, they're clever girls. Now it's time for the strange topic. You might think paleontologists have found all that there is to find when it comes to dinosaurs, but no, that could not be further from the truth. There's a lot to dig up and that means there's a lot left to find. One of the craziest finds of recent times was this gargantuan skeleton. While we've known for generations that dinosaurs could reach sizes like this, seeing a near whole skeleton in the sand where it was found instead of a museum is nothing short of extraordinary. It's crazy to think that creatures like this really walked on Earth, but they did, and the evidence is right there, or I guess in this case right here. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag StrangeTopic. Number 19, Goblin Shark. There's only one kind of goblin shark out there, and it's known scientifically as Mitsukurina Otstoni. The shark is sometimes dubbed a living fossil because it's the sole survivor member of the Mitsukurinaide family, which has been around for a huge 125 million years. Its appearance is pretty unique. It has pink skin, a long flat snout, and protruding jaws that display nail-like teeth. Pink isn't usually the color you'd associate with a goblin, right? But in a weird way, the pink hue makes it look like something out of a medieval legend. The shark's skin is somewhat translucent, and it's actually the blood that gives it a pink or sometimes purple-gray coloration. As youngsters, these sharks have faces that seem too large for their bodies. But kind of like a human teenager, as they grow, everything starts to proportion out, although not as quickly as their nose does. And let's be honest, these aren't the most aesthetically pleasing fish. Their unique facial structure does not do them any favors in the looks department. But thankfully, their habitat's in the dark. It's deep underwater where visibility's pretty low. Their snouts are packed with electroreceptors, known as ampullae of Lorenzini, allowing them to detect the heartbeats of tiny prey in total darkness. So while they're not going to win any beauty contests, the goblin shark is a marvel in its own right. Its snout senses heartbeats, and it has extendable jaws that are linked to a flexible mouth and throat. Despite their odd appearance, those gnarly teeth are actually highly effective at catching slippery fish in the depths of the ocean. Number 18, Star-Nosed Mole. The star-nosed mole is a small critter that calls North America's wet lowlands home. What sets this mole apart is its unique snout, which resembles a star and features 22 fleshy rays. These projections help the mole navigate and even locate food. You'll typically find these star-nosed wanderers in forests, marshes, wetlands, and swamps, basically anywhere near water, but they're versatile. You can also encounter them in drier fields that aren't close to water. They have dark brown fur that repels water and wide feet equipped with claws. An adult star-nosed mole usually measures between six to eight inches in length. 
Its skinny, furry tail adds another one to two inches. These moles are incredibly efficient foragers, tapping their star-shaped noses on the ground and capable of making contact with up to 12 spots in just a second. They boast the most sensitive sense of touch among all known animals. Let's talk about the science behind that touch. Their star nose houses more than 100,000 nerve fibers in a space smaller than a fingernail. That's about five times the number of touch-sensitive nerve fibers found in a human hand. These nerve endings are named Elmer's organs, after the first doctor who studied them. These nerves enable the mole to detect seismic wave movements in its surroundings. Though they have a thick fur coat that makes their eyes almost invisible, star-nosed moles aren't completely blind. They suffer from color blindness and poor vision, but they can still detect light and motion. Number 17. Blobfish The blobfish, a deep-sea dweller, has won the internet's heart, or at least its fascination with its unmistakably squishy face that's equal parts unsettling and amusing. Even though science has only recently introduced us to this intriguing bottom feeder, it's already become a digital sensation, gracing memes, plush toys, even emojis. While its comical appearance is well known, what can it tell us about its elusive natural habitat, or environmental protection? Let's start with its official name. The blobfish that became an internet celebrity is scientifically known as Cycrolutes microporos, part of the Cycrolutidae family. The term blobfish is not exclusive to just this species. It can also refer to other members of the same family, like P. marcatus. They look very sad when they're on the, on the surface. Yeah. The first live P. microporos was discovered in 1983 off the New Zealand coast, but it wasn't until a decade later that it was formally named and described. So, what's the secret to surviving in such extreme conditions? Unlike most fish, blobfish don't have a swim bladder, an air-filled sac that helps fish maintain buoyancy. In the deep sea environment where blobfish reside, a swim bladder would simply burst due to the immense pressure. Instead, blobfish have evolved to have soft, jelly-like flesh that allows them to float just above the ocean floor, effectively adapting to their high-pressure habitat. Number 16. Echidna Short-beaked echidnas, sometimes called spiny anteaters, might seem like slow movers with pointy spikes, but they're more complex than they appear. Believe it or not, those so-called spikes are actually hardened, hollow hair shafts. These spines are the echidna's main line of defense. When predators come knocking, they curl into a ball of spikes, which gives a clear message. Sometimes they might also dig their way to safety, but it's not all about the spikes. Echidnas also have a layer of short fur to keep them warm. The ones in South Australia typically have darker fur compared to their eastern cousins. Some echidnas in southeast Queensland are said to have blonde highlights. So, are they just sexier than the average echidna? Well, it's more likely due to a year-round sun exposure. On Kangaroo Island, you might even spot echidnas with red or pure white heads. Although they lack teeth, their impressively long, sticky tongues compensate by quickly slurping up ants, worms, and insect larvae. Their scientific name, Tachyglossus, literally means fast tongue, and it's spot on. Besides their unique tongues, echidnas have rear claws that bend backwards, so if they're ever in a tight spot, they can always dig their way out. Number 15. Ghost Shark Ghost sharks are intriguing creatures, freaking people out for quite some time. Despite their name, they're not actual ghosts, or even sharks. They demonstrate how names are often pretty misleading, even more than informing. In scientific terms, ghost sharks belong to the cartilaginous fish group called Holocephali, which include their distant relatives sharks, rays, and skates. Ghost sharks were officially discovered in 2002, although it's believed that they've been around for an amazing 340 to 360 million years. Their popularity has even led to a dedicated day, Ghost Shark Day, celebrated globally on October 30th. These unique marine animals mainly inhabit the southeastern Pacific, particularly near Australia and New Zealand. However, they've been spotted off the coasts of Hawaii and California recently. Although they prefer warmer locations, ghost sharks live deep underwater. Between 400 and 6,600 feet, where temperatures are near freezing. While their name and appearance might suggest something spooky, ghost sharks are actually far from terrifying. Number 14. Aye Aye Perched on a tree branch, an eye eye taps the wood with its elongated finger. This furry creature, resembling a blend of a raccoon and a rat, isn't just knocking for fun. It's actually searching for hollow spots where insects might be hiding. 
When the tapping reveals a cavity, the eye eye tears off the bark with its teeth and then feasts on the bugs inside. You'll find this peculiar animal exclusively in the forests of Madagascar, an island country off of Africa's coast. Eye eyes seldom descend from their treetop dwellings to the forest floor. They're nocturnal, foraging for food in the treetops after sundown and snoozing in leaf nests during the day. While bugs are a staple, they also indulge in fruits like mangoes, scooping out the pulp with those same specialized fingers. But their unique fingers are not their only tools to aid their survival. The eye eye's large, bright eyes enable it to see in the dark, while its sensitive, oversized ears help it locate food. A long, bushy tail assists in maintaining balance as the animal leaps from branch to branch. Although their quirky features and habits help them survive, they've also led to some confusion. Once, scientists mistook them for rodents due to their rat-like teeth and squirrel-like tail. But these creatures are actually primates, which makes them distant relatives of us. All in all, the eye eye is a bundle of oddities, looking strange and acting even stranger. Number 13. Hagfish Though often mistaken for an eel, this fish, known as a hagfish, is actually an agnatha, meaning it lacks a proper mouth. Hagfish are found in cold waters worldwide. There's around 76 different species known to exist. They can dwell as deep as 5,600 feet, but they usually prefer sticking close to the soft ocean floor. This is where they can easily hide from predators. The largest of the species, Epetrius goliath, can stretch beyond four feet, while the smallest ones measure just a few inches. People often find hagfish off-putting due to their slimy texture and peculiar eating habits. But their slime has potential medicinal uses for us. The circulatory system of a hagfish is pretty simple. It has one primary heart and three auxiliary hearts. They breathe by drawing water through a tube known as a nasopharyngeal duct, which leads to their throat and gill pouches. Hagfish are the only known living creatures with a skull, but no spine. Their bodies are entirely cartilaginous. Unlike lampreys, they lack jaws, but they possess two structures with tooth-like protrusions that move horizontally, enabling them to grasp and shred their food. Number 12, Axolotl. Axolotls have a mythical backstory. They're thought to be incarnations of the Aztec god of fire and lightning, Zolotl, who transformed into a salamander to dodge death. But beyond that lore, these Mexican amphibians are genuinely fascinating. They can regenerate lost limbs and remain in a youthful state throughout their lives. As youngsters, axolotls sport feathery gills that sprout from their heads like some kind of a mane, along with webbed feet, a tail, and a dorsal fin. Adult axolotls are capable of breathing through both their lungs and skin while retaining their gills. And talk about adorable, they wear what looks like a permanent Mona Lisa smile. Come mealtime, those gentle smiles morph into big grins. The axolotls aren't picky, they eat stuff like crabs, mollusks, insect eggs, and small fish. People have found themselves captivated by axolotls for quite a while. Interest spiked when they were first brought from Mexico to Paris in 1864. This introduction sparked widespread breeding across Europe, creating a pet trade due to the axolotl's ease of captive breeding. However, some U.S. states prohibit ownership of these creatures, fearing they might escape and interbreed with local salamander populations. Research-wise, axolotls are a biologist's dream. Their ability to regenerate not just limbs, but also hearts, spinal cords, and even parts of their brains without scarring is the subject of ongoing study. Basically, if we ever get to the point where we're able to live forever, it'll be because we study the hell out of these things. Number 11. Japanese spider crab. Japanese spider crabs may seem like creatures out of a 1950s sci-fi film, but they're actually pretty mellow. And they're enormous, holding the title for the world's largest crustaceans. They can stretch up to 12.5 feet from claw tip to back. They're also among the biggest arthropods, a category of animals without backbones, but with external skeletons and numerous jointed limbs. In the case of the spider crab, we're talking about 10 legs. These crabs inhabit the cold waters along the Pacific coast of Japan down to Taiwan, living as deep as 1,640 feet below the surface. They're most comfortable in temperatures around 50 degrees. Rather than hunting, these crabs are scavengers that feed on dead animals and plants, though they might occasionally eat live fish or insects. The females of the species are incredibly prolific, 
laying upwards of a million eggs. Not many of these eggs will survive to hatch, but those that do will go solo for about 10 days before experiencing their first molt. Number 10. Platypus the platypus, scientifically known as Ornithorhynchus anatinus, has often been called one of the weirder animals out there. With a body that's furry like an otter's, and a duck-like flat bill, and webbed feet, it's easy to see why. It even has a paddle-shaped tail. The Natural History Museum in London recounts that the first time a taxidermied platypus was sent from Australia to England, people thought it was a hoax, like someone just stitched together a bunch of different animals. These critters are of the rare mammals that can deliver a bite that's venomous. Well, not exactly a bite. Males have a venomous spur on their back foot that's connected to a venom gland. According to the Australian Platypus Conservatory, the males produce more venom during mating season, suggesting that the venom and spur serve as weapons in romantic rivalries. While the venom will not human, it will cause intense pain and swelling. The platypus bill, that's not just for show. It's soft, bendable, and it feels like suede. The bill's skin has tens of thousands of sensory receptors, helping the animal navigate underwater and detect moving prey like shrimp. A male platypus can wrap its legs around its opponent and then use its spurs to inject venom. Number 9. Red-Lipped Batfish The red-lipped batfish, which is sometimes called the Galapagos batfish, is a peculiar fish, and you can find them off the coast of Peru and the Galapagos Islands. With its bright red lips and odd-looking nose, it's a fish that's hard to ignore. While we have researched it, the mystery of why they have those vivid lips still remains. Some studies suggest it could play a role in mating, which wouldn't be too surprising. Some animals go to great lengths to attract a mate. Oh, what's this, a mirror? If you're keen to see one up close, don't expect to spot it while snorkeling. You'll need diving gear. These fish usually hang out in waters that are pretty deep. But despite living in these depths, they are not exactly Olympic swimmers. Observing them on the ocean floor, you'd notice that they barely move. Instead, they have this peculiar habit of walking on the seabed. As for their size, the red-lipped batfish is relatively small. So far, we haven't identified any specific predators that target them. Their deep-sea water habitat might offer some protection, keeping them off the menu for larger, more predatory animals. Number 8. Dumbo Octopus Dumbo octopuses dwell roughly 13,000 feet below the sea's surface, inhabiting waters from the Gulf of Mexico to coast near Oregon, Australia, New Zealand, New Guinea, and the Philippines. Their bodies are soft and jelly-like, a trait that helps them cope with high pressure, making it easy for them to live in such deep, chilly environments. While most octopuses have an ink sac for defense, Dumbo octopuses lack this feature. They don't really need it. Their deep-sea habitat keeps them out of the reach of most predators like sharks and dolphins. Though they might look petite in photos, these octopus can grow up to 6 feet long and weigh as much as 13 pounds. They're thought to lay up to 200,000 eggs in a single go once they're sexually mature. This prolific breeding might be due to their relatively short lifespans of just 3 to 5 years. When it's time, the female Dumbo octopus seeks out a reef or rocky area to lay her eggs and stays there until her young hatch. Remember those cartoonishly large eyes? They take up about a third of the width of their entire head, but their vision, it's not great. They mainly rely on their other senses to navigate their dark, deep sea world. Number 7. Naked Mole Rat the naked mole rat is a weird creature with unique features and behaviors that enable it to thrive in pretty tough underground settings. It's the only mammal known to be thermoconforming, meaning it largely controls its body temperature in a cold-blooded manner. It also exhibits a complex social hierarchy, separating into castes for reproductive and non-reproductive functions. It's similar to its relative, the Damara land mole rat. This critter has skin that is insensitive to pain. It also boasts notably slow breathing and metabolic rates. It has a long lifespan, and it shows resilience against cancer and low oxygen levels. When predators, like snakes, try to invade, soldier mole rats act as guards, blocking the entrance to protect their colony. Stabilizing their body temperature is a bit more challenging for these animals compared to other mammals. They often huddle together to keep warm, 
despite their burrows that usually have a steady temperature of around 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Naked mole rats are plant eaters that don't require water for hydration. And get this, they usually consume specific parts of either roots or plants while leaving enough of the plant to regenerate, effectively cultivating their future meals. Number 6. Turritopsis nutricula The Turritopsis dorni, commonly dubbed the immortal jellyfish, is roughly the size of a human pinky, and it boasts the unusual capability to live indefinitely, unless it's eaten, of course. Jellyfish usually come in two forms, polyps and medusas. The typical life cycle involves moving from the polyp to the medusa stage, but this jellyfish? It can switch back between the two at will. This unique creature can reproduce both and a If it's about to die, it can revert back to the polyp stage and reset its life cycle. It can keep doing this indefinitely. This ability stems from a rare cellular mechanism called transdifferentiation. This is where specialized adult cells transform into completely different adult cells. One dedicated Japanese scientist found that they can't revert to the polyp stage if they're hungry. And I can sympathize, I can't do anything when I'm hungry, let alone return to a polyp stage, my goodness. These jellyfish also go by the name hitchhikers. They've been spotted catching rides on cargo ships, and they use seawater as ballast. Number 5. Pink River Dolphin Locals in South America regard this critter, the Pink River Dolphin, more as a mythical entity that's both revered and feared. Unlike its cousin, the Grey or Tutsuki River Dolphin, which resembles sea dolphins and enjoys leaping out of the water, the Pink River Dolphin is a distinct species. Its unique color makes it easily recognizable and a major attraction for those exploring the Peruvian Amazon. There's a lot about the Boto that remains a mystery, but here are some intriguing facts. The Amazon Pink River Dolphin is the largest and most intelligent among the five freshwater species. A full-grown individual can weigh as much as 400 pounds and live up to 30 years. And check this out, they eat food that most would consider extra spicy. They eat piranhas, so... Yeah, they're pretty badass. Interestingly, their brains are 40% larger than those of humans. While they're generally shy creatures, they're also naturally curious about humans and have been known to play with local children without any hostility. To communicate and navigate their murky river environment, they use high-frequency sonar clicks to create a three-dimensional map of their surroundings. Number 4. Pangolin a swarm of ants scurries away from a slow-moving object that emerges from a nearby bush. Is it a pinecone on legs? An artichoke with eyes? No, it's a pangolin. These critters are covered in tough scales, and they have a diet exclusively made up of insects. Quite the insectivore lifestyle, huh? Pangolins live in a variety of habitats, including grasslands and rainforests. There's four varieties of pangolins in Asia. Chinese, Sunda, Indian, and Philippine. There are four other species found in Africa. Being loners, these creatures are primarily active at night. And for some reason, they make me think of William Defoe. Although most live on the ground, some are skilled climbers of trees, like the black-bellied type. The autonomy of pangolins is distinct. They have long tongues and snouts that resemble like an anteater. They use their powerful front claws to dig out termites and ants from mounds, and then their lengthy tongues are useful for sucking them up. The pangolin's tongue is very long, reaching up to 28 inches, which is nearly the length of the animal without the tail. Because of their extremely durable keratin-based scales, they're often referred to as scaly anteaters. In fact, they're so resilient, lions and tigers are unable to bite through them. Like armadillos, pangolins shrink to approximately half their original size by curling up into a ball and using this protective maneuver when they feel threatened. This shields their exposed face and abdomen. In addition to balling up, they may repel predators by releasing an offensive smelling fluid from a gland located close to their spiky tails. So yeah, basically they roll up into a ball and then release a wet fart so everyone will just leave them alone. Number 3. Pacific Barrel Eye Fish The Barrel Eye Fish is a deep sea dweller with a transparent dome-shaped head and striking green eyes. The name Barrel Eye comes from the shape of its eyes, which are housed inside of its see-through head. 
This unique head is a protective shield made of clear material and fluid, safeguarding the fish's eyes. You can actually see its eyes, its brain, and its nerve endings throughout this transparent dome. However, this shield is delicate and it can break easily when the fish is brought up from the depths for study. Inside, you'll notice two green orbs that normally face upwards to capture as much light as possible. These eyes can also swivel forward when the fish is hunting. At first, researchers mistook two dark spots above the fish's mouth for eyes, but these are actually olfactory organs, functioning much like nostrils. First documented in 1939, the barrel eye has remained elusive due to its deep sea habitat. Number 2. Pink Fairy Armadillo This guy reminds me of the Pink Fairy Man from Santa Cruz. The Pink Fairy Armadillo, though, calls sandy plains, sagebrush, grasslands, and dunes its home, spending much of its life underground. They are the smallest armadillos around, and their habitats serve as both living spaces and hideouts from various threats. These elusive animals aren't seen frequently, and they're among the least studied type of armadillos. The pink fairy armadillo has soft yellow-white fur, tiny eyes, and a flexible shell. The shell attaches to the body by a thin membrane along its back. It also has a spatula-like tail. This solitary animal primarily comes out at night to feast. Ants and their larvae are its main diet, though it will nibble on some plant parts if other food options aren't available. What's unique about its shell is that the pink hue is actually due to a network of blood vessels beneath it, visible through the armor. In fact, it's the only armadillo species with a dorsal shell that's completely separate from its body, connected only by a slender membrane along its spine. Number 1. Sarcastic Fringe Head Although typically less than 10 inches long, sarcastic fridge heads are notably bold and aggressive, confronting anything that ventures near their burrows. The sarcastic part of their name reflects their behavior, while the fringe head describes the unique skin flaps over their eyes. The term sarcastic is believed to be derived from the Greek word sarcasian, meaning to tear flesh, indicating their aggressive nature. Sarcastic fringe heads belong to the Chainopsidae family and usually reside in holes or other cavities. They establish territories around empty calm burrows, large snail shells, or any other nook and cranny that suits them. The suitable home for a fringe head is a snug space located close to a consistent food source. Since ideal homes for them are scarce, these fish defend their territories vigorously against other fringe heads, different marine animals, and even human divers. When it comes to choosing a mate, female fringe heads prefer males with prime real estate. This competition for the best spot is thought to be a major reason for the species' uniquely large mouths. People who see those mouths these days liken it to the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. If threatened by other fringe heads, they can open their mouths astonishingly wide, wider than their own heads, displaying two rows of sharp teeth. This results in a bizarre contest. It's a little bit like a contest that humans have, but this version is, who has the biggest <clears throat> mouth? It's a showdown, and it's where they clash their open wide mouths together. So, have you ever imagined that such strange critters existed on your own planet? If you could create any kind of creature, what would it look like? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.